right after third period break time is over Sunahara finally shows up at school throwing the school bag on the desk violently he then proceeds to sit down propping his leg up on that miserable bag so are you still alive so you are still alive whose fault do you think it was looks like I said I didn't looks like what I said didn't go over well with him just now you did it on your own didn't you it's you who made me turn around after that, I asked this guy who knows stuff. Guess what? He told me. Back dribbling was dis while descending a slope. Even pros can't do that shit. He wasn't wrong. Perhaps even pros can't do that. But how can anything be impossible for genius sportsmen such as yourself? What? You really mean it? Of course I do. That's why you've got to try again today. Oh, I'm gonna try it again. Like how I would. You're deviously good at motivating people, aren't you? Not really. I think you're just too easy to manipulate. Like hell I am. God damn it, to think anyone would seek amusement by exploiting the goodness inside others. Is it really that much fun for you? Quite fun, I would say. Please don't throw away that last bit of humanity in you. No, please throw. Did you say throw? Don't throw. Okay, yeah. Seriously, quite fun, he said. Isn't that way too half-assed? Do you have any idea how much pain I've been through thanks to your half-assed sense of amusement? I'll make you take a basketball then, just remember that. Are you gonna back run down the slope again today? I won't. Just as lunch break arrives, I stand up quickly, ready to go. Where are you going? Sonora's still sitting in a chair, looks up at me suspiciously. Lunch, do you even have to ask? Then, can I go with you? No. Why? It's really hard to tell you. Just say it straight. The truth is, seeing your face makes me lo lose my appetite. Don't say something like that so straight on. It's you who made me say that in here and I thought I'd want to bury it deep inside my heart forever. It didn't take much for you to unbury it, did it? Well, let's forget about it. The huge impact it left behind is already seared in my mind. Your pitiful soul. That's about it. Gotta go now, bye. <laughs> Leaving the heartbroken to the heart behind, I step out of the classroom. We're gathering in front of the empty classroom in the old building. Must first take care of the rumor, or else you won't be able to walk around the school anymore. What's the rumor about? Didn't I already tell you? Those who knew about the accident are making ruckus about you being a ghost after they saw you at school. If that's the case, then we have to explain them that I'm a foolish asleep. Use your brain, would you? Yes? How would they react after you explain that to them? Would they just say, so you're kinda like a ghost but different? That's cool. And let it go. You really expect that to happen, huh? Furugawa would get mad at me if I used my hands, so I can only put pressure on her with words and attitude now. Okazaki san. No, no, I'm not using my hands. Even if you're not, you shouldn't bu bully her. <laughs> I still get scolded in the end. Listen, Fuko, even if it's the truth, an explanation like that is still too much for people. That's why we should just tell them you've been discharged from the hospital, or else those media people will show up to eventually. Or do you want that attention? No. That's right, come, you're a good girl. I raise my hand to stroke her head. What? Dodging your attempt to brush my hand away, I keep stroking over and over again. Ah, Suiko screams as she actually runs away from me. I use some sort of pullback spring toy. Thump and ends up bumping into another student. Silly girl. Are you okay, Fu-chan? Rukawa rushes to her side. Ibuki-san? Huh? Third year female student who is standing nearby speaks Fuku's name. Seems to be a friend of the student our starfish lo lover bumped into. Ah, she's the one who knows about Fuko. She's Mitsui-san. Her face doesn't betray a single emotion. Sorry, but there's something Fuko needs to tell you. Do you have a moment? Sure, I don't mind. And uh, the other students seem to have guessed the situation goes on ahead. The thing is, Fuko speaks to Mitsui. Fuko has safely recovered from the accident and is now commuting to school properly. Still just a first-year student, though. 
I understand. No girl replies without showing even a trace of emotion. Well then, leaving behind a simple word of parting, she walks past us. Ruko and I make our way to Fuku, who is now standing in silence. She's so cold-hearted. No, that's normal for her. That's the last time the last time we saw her was two years ago, right? Her attitude is too plain. But Fuko has only been to school once for the entrance ceremony. The accident happened the same day on, on the way home. That's why she shouldn't have remembered Fuku's face at all. We only talked for a very short while. It felt like how nice it would be if her seats were close to each other. It really wasn't match at all. It's kind of hard to like, even remember who was named. This girl didn't spend enough time at the school to make a single friend before getting into the accident. Someone will be nice to me. Who Chan? I please let me be your friend for for friend forever. I can't make out the last part of her sentence. Will you let me? Huh? Yes, that's no problem. Under the circumstances, I can't let Bruko be the only one to say that. Me too, can I be your friend too? No. Ugh, this little. Even though Ogazaki never says anything pleasant, he's actually a very kind person. He's just too shy. Deep down inside, he really likes Fu Chen. A lot. I'm kinda jealous of that, heh <laughs> heh. So, you want me to like you? The question almost slipped out of my mouth, but now it's not the time for that. This conversation is more important. Well, Fuko, I won't tell you to be friendly to me, but. Do remember that I'm your ally. You're an enemy. I'm an ally. Enemy. <laughs> I'm your ally. Are you even listening? I made her run away again. Uncle Zaki said. An ally would never let yell like that. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, Fugu, come here. I won't yell at you anymore. Who is she even trying to imitate me? <laughs> is she even. <laughs> you don't have to make your, me your ally, but please don't think of me as your enemy. Then you're the arch enemy. It'll just get worse that worse that way. What's that you said? Did you do something bad to her? To be frank, I have done more than I can remember. But if I were to tell Furukawa that honestly, that would just, <laughs> just what would she say to me? Kitaki san seems to have figured it out. No, not at all. I can tell you're hiding something. Strangely sharp at this kind of thing. If you've done something bad to her, please apologize properly. Not really. It's more like we were just playing around. Actually, I'd call it a form of communication. Well, you can't really say anything if you put it that way. But please be careful from now on. Yeah, I get it. I'll be careful. Fu-chan, he said he'd be careful. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Fuko hesitantly comes closer to us and... Then you can be an acquaintance of a friend. By a friend, do you mean me? Fuko nods. I'm Nagisa's acquaintance. But I've known her way longer than you. Then you can be a close friend of a friend. Are you fine with that? Nikisa gives me a quick look. Then you can be the arch enemy. Right, I think that one was before. <laughs> I think the one before was better. Then it's decided. Yes, let's go with it. In the end, I'm just an acquaintance of an acquaintance. Okazaki san, what are you gonna do now? As our debate comes to an end, Furukawa turns to me and asks, Let's see, how about we go see the art teacher? I don't know how much we need exactly, but the carvings are going to take a lot of wood, right? Having found the teacher in charge of the art department, I strike up the conversation. You know about the wooden blocks used for carving, right? I kind of need them now. Eh? The wooden cube is about this size? Yeah. They're used during carving lessons. Right, those are the ones. Those are the teaching materials. Please, we really need them. Next to me, Furukawa is bowing down. But what do you need them for? You see, we have awakened to the beauty of sculptures. Art is just so nice, don't you think so, Furukawa? Yes, it's very beautiful. Do you really mean that? Tiny light is sparks in the teacher's eyes. Mischief of cause is nothing less than infamous, and the fact that Furukawa is repeated a year may also have reached his ears. For the two such lost causes to take such greatness of art, how could he possibly bear to destroy our enthusiasm? Hmm. That's what you really think. I'll do something about it. Remember, this is a special case. Sweet. After that, we follow the teacher to the art room. Some of the teachers are too damaged to be used. Some of them are too damaged to be used, but take what you need regardless. Even the damaged ones are good for practice. 
I take from the cardboard box full of wood blocks. I bring out the box to an empty classroom. With this many blocks, we don't have to worry about the supply for a while. Quite a amount. Let's see. As I open the box, we have to choose the blocks that are, unu are usable. Someone is knocking on the wall. I turn around and see Sunohara standing by the entrance. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> he must have tailed me here. Yo, everyone. Tell me, Okazaki, just what are you doing here? You're so distant these days. What happened to us? I told you no already, Tonto. It's so hard to please you. To think that you'd get along so well with someone else like this. Sunara san it's been a while. Is something wrong? <laughs> please listen to me, Nigisa chan. It's all thanks to this guy. Sunara, the genius, has attempted a technique that goes beyond the rank of a mere professional. Heh, <laughs> gotta do it again today. I'm not that stupid, you know. Such a noisy guy. So you're, you attempted an awesome technique that sounds really cool. Yeah. Then are you going to keep practicing it from now on? Obviously. That's why I'm going to have to borrow Ogazaki. You don't get to make that call. I guess Chad, please tell him. Is that okay with you, Furukawa? I'd rather you not go. Got that? Why? If you, if you want to be together with Ogazaki, just come along. But, of course, I want to be together with him. This is another matter. To tell the truth, Hokuzaki-san and I have decided to help Fu-chan. Fu-chan? Who's that? That? I point at the little thing trying to stay hidden in the corner of the classroom. Ah! Is that the rude brat who made fun of his my hair color? I didn't know she was your friend, Agus chan Yes, yeah, she is. Also, the little sister of one of my old teachers. Hmm. <laughs> Got a, a strong sense of obligation, Nikisa Chan. That's not true. I like both Buki Sensei and her little sister. Does that mean you don't like me? No, of course I like you too. That's why it's so hard to decide who decide with, to decide with. But Tuna Haristan is a man, so try your best. Try your best on your own. You're her one to talk. In the first place, I didn't want anything to do with basketball. You old, you old doesn't mean anything in this case. It's the most important thing. Excuse me. I keep I still keep still keeping the distance. Fuku speaks out to us. We turn around. Actually, Fuku doesn't mind doing it alone. Tatsuya moves an inch from the corner. She says that. Please don't say such a thing, Fu Chan. I'm here with you. Fuku is used to being alone. You're not supposed to get used to that. Furukawa just announced her friendship friendship so proudly a few moments ago. What Fuku said must have come quite a shock to her. You guys are making me look like bad guy here, aren't you? That's so wrong. Very well then, we shall decide things fairly here in the name of sportsmanship. What do you mean? You there, have a match against me. To an hour points at Fuku. If I win, Okazaki has to join the 3 on 3 club. If I lose, I'll do anything you guys tell me to. How's that sound? Fuku nods. Okazaki-san, what should we do? Things are getting out of hand think so, just go in and stop them. But it's in the name of sportsmanship, I can't stop it. What kind of reason is that? This isn't fair considering they're of different genders. That's right, Tsunahara san is not it's not fair. I'll accept any kind of duel and just hit me with whatever you're good at. <laughs> there are tons of things girls are better at, aren't they? Oh, aren't there? Yes, but Wu Chan will have an advantage. What should we do, Ogazaki san? Isn't it fine like that? If Uko wins, we'll have an extra servant. Let's just make full use of him. But if she loses, Ogazaki san will. Nothing to worry about, I'll just keep running away. You must not do that. Promises are meant to be kept. When, do you, when did your head become so hard? Very well, I'll just keep cheering Fuku on then. Understood. So, what kind of match will we have? Hmm. How about carving? No prop. Very good choice. Fu Chan won't lose if it's carving, it's a specialty. I wonder about that. Carving contest sounds pretty weird to me. Okay, so where's the wood? Here you go. I take a block from the box and throw it to Sunohara. We don't have a knife for you. I already got one. That said he flashes a combat knife. His brain is still hasn't changed since middle school. So what are we carving? Whatever's fine. 
<laughs> then I can, can I choose a theme? Sure. It's just how soon it is. He'll choose something so complex that even he himself can't carve it and I'm shooting himself in the foot. Let's see. Now throwing a provoking look at Fuko. How about a Nui? What is that? What is that? Traditional Japanese demon appearing in the Haiki Monogatari. It has the face of a monkey, the legs of a tiger, the body of a Japanese raccoon dog, and the front half of a snake for a tail. Okay. Jesus. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. Don't you know about it? I got into the school on a sports recommendation. I know about it. There's no way a culture girl like you doesn't know, right? Never heard of it before. An overly honest girl she is. This is gonna be an easy one. Please tell Fuku what a new he is. Look at how helpless you are. I'll say it once mo only once, so listen carefully. It's said to be a winged monster with the head of a monkey, the body of a raccoon tail, the tail of a snake, the legs of a tiger. Talk about how they use <laughs> about your useless knowledge. Got it, I'm telling you that I'm not telling you that again. Hmm. It has a monkey head, dog body, pheasant tail, and favorite food is kiwi dango. <laughs> what? Excuse me? Special Dongo product in Wakayama Prefecture it is well known within Japan. It is closely tied to the Hotel Momotaro. Alright, that's not right at all. <laughs> she got everything mixed up with the Momotaro story. Did you even listen? No one said anything about its favorite food. Slow down, Okazaki. You're not supposed to tell her. Well then, let's get the match started already. The way things are giving it are going is giving me cold feet. No way in hell Sunohara could carve a new way, and that means our chance of losing is nil. But that's how it's supposed to be. Nokuzaki, hurry up and give the signal to start. Fine. Ready, go. To start their match. It's gonna take a while. Is there really such an animal? <laughs> Asked Nikisa, who's now standing next to me. Obviously not, it's just a mythical, mythological being. Ah, so that's how it is. Now that I think about it. I was so, so surprised to hear about an animal like that. This girl is the same as these two. This round is full of idiot. Uh, this room is full of idiot. I guess I'm also an idiot. Agony finds its way inside of me. It's not true. Fuchan and Tsunahara are trying their best. Yeah, I guess so. I have to take um. In front of me, the two are con concentrating on their task. But the only one whose carving sounds are actually rhythmically pleasant to the ears is Fuko. No surprise considering all the carving she's done. Sunahara just clumsily shaving the corner of the block. It's kind of scary watching the way Sunahara carves. Same here. Fuchan is progressing really well. Yeah, all those times she cut herself trying to carve have paid off. But her sense of art is kind of crooked. You think so? Isn't it obvious? I think it's perfectly normal for us to not understand the sense of beauty of talented people. Like painting by paintings by famous artists. To be honest, I don't understand them at all. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, that surface sure does stand right out, right alongside the old masters. What's that? Oh, never mind. More importantly, let's keep an eye on Sunahara so he doesn't hurt himself. Ah, oh, you're right. We must take care of them. Hey, Sunahara, make a clear blow from the head like this. This. Are you trying to make me stab a hole in this in my thigh? It looks like you're trying to disturb him. No, it's my way of showing my affection. Sunahara, I love you. Sunahara jumps up a little. Don't say such a disgusting thing out of the blue. Make me almost slice my finger off. <laughs> I'll do everything in my power to disturb you. Fuku stops her hand and stands up. What's wrong? You want to take a break? It's done. What? Are you serious? That was really quick. No, there's no way you could have carved a new way so quickly. Then please show me your carving, Fu-chan. Oh. Please let it be a new way. I'm praying in my head. It doesn't have to be a new way, just as long as it comes, it's some sort of demon. Okay. I look at the sculpture in Fuku's hand. It looks like an anime character I've seen some before. <laughs> Say, Fuku. Yeah? Tell me again what a new way is supposed to look like. It doesn't have any ears, it has a pocket on its tummy, it has the body of a cat, and its favorite food is Doriaki. <laughs> Maybe it's a cat ro robot from the future. Oh boy. <laughs> cat robot from 
the future. Future, it's a reference to the classic manga Doraemon. <laughs> it's so lovely, right? There's, n there's another idiot right there. Here, ha! Ah, easy win is easy. With this, I can just illegally spend my time finishing my new way, and I've got the match in my pocket. You can finish it, yeah. Easy, man, easy. Huh? I just dug a hole in the base of his thumb. <laughs> oh, jeez. Sinhara is rolling on the floor with blood gushing out of his hand. Ah, Sinhara said. Stop moving around, just go straight to the infirmary. Kick, give his butt a few kicks. How dare you treat an injured person this way? Leaving a few barks behind, Sinhara runs out of the corridor. That wasn't a nice thing to do, Okazaki said. The love tap. Liar. Just go already. Damn it. Seems he's gone for real this time. God damn it. He's fucking. Ugh, oh, he's cut himself. Ugh. Returned with his hand covered in a bandage. So it's your loss. Why? You can't carve with that hand, can you? I'll carve with my guts. Will he stop Sinahara's hand? It's impossible with your hand bandaged stuff like that. What? That girl over there is the same. Your injury seems way deeper than Fu Chan's. Try holding this. I throw a block of wood to Sinahara. Grab. He's crying from the pain. Please don't force yourself too hard, Tinara said. And that's how things are, Tinara. What does that mean? I have lost to that stupid cat robot. Yep, there's no humili humility greater than this. Seriously, if you forget that silly theme, it's really well done. The whiskers are really finely carved too. The theme is new, eh? The carving still isn't even, isn't even finished. It doesn't look like anything I have a name for. Just admit your defeat. I don't want to. Are you gonna be a sore loser now? Be a man, dude. Shit. Good news, Yuko. We have acquired a new a servant. Google doesn't need one. No, I figured as much. Sorry, but Sunahara has frozen. Uh, Sunahara has frozen chalk. Ugh. Why the hell do you accept my challenge? Ah, scared Fuku runs even farther away from Sunahara. I wonder if she did it for my sake. So Okazaki wouldn't be taken away. Who knows? I don't think Fuku, Fuku would be so considerate though. Anyway, we should calm these two down first. Don't do it. Okazaki-san, you're making it look like Fu Chen's some sort of animal. In any case, we're gonna clear the goal with these members. Fight, fight, go. We're gonna work together even if it's only in appearance. First of all, let's have Sunara clean up the mess. Must be a demon after all. A demon, a person in demon skin. So I'm still a human. Damn it! I'm gonna, I'm gonna rebel. You're already rebelling. I'll help you with the cleaning, so I understand. Rukawa is already t with the broom in, ha in her hand. Must be a goddess to use Jen. While we're still going on with our silly conversation, Hugo's already started cleaning the floor with the broom. We end up cleaning the classroom together all through lunch break. After school, we get we gather again inside the empty classroom. Say, Fuko. Yeah? Can I suggest something? Yeah? It's about your curving, but aren't there other things that may be more appealing than starfish? Have you ever thought about carving something different? Yes. But whatever you may say, starfish are just too so cute. Isn't that just your hobby? I think they're cute too. Again, that's just a personal hobby. You asked two people, and both of them said starfish were cute. That's 100% of the votes. You're forgetting my vote, it's actually 66%. Even so, it's still the majority. Enough. Someone please call more, with a de more people with a decent sense of beauty. But, if there is something more likable to people, we can carve it too. Finally, who goes listening to my suggestion? Very well, here's my proposal. What? Do you, what? Oh god. What is that? Carving with a bear carving of a bear with a salmon in his mouth. Uh the popular type of carving that's originally originated from Hokkaido, Japan's second largest island, is often considered by you to be a disappointing gift. Alright. Longevity chopsticks are popular gifts supposedly designed to grant users longer lives by using them. 
Okay. <laughs> Bad scratching hand. Okay. Um. Let's see. What does it say? Bear with a fish. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. I'm gonna save anyways. The curve. Curving. Curving. Here we go. Let's go with this one, yeah. Why not? How about a bear carving with a salmon in its mouth? It'd be perfectly in a traditional guest room. Right? We could replace the salmon with a starfish. The bear will walk with a starfish in its mouth. It's perfect. We can call bear car it with a bear carving feature starfish. It's not featuring. It's feeding on starfish. It's unbelievably rude. To blasphemy against starfish. Isn't it that? It's too much. Ah, alright. I've got an idea. For a caller raising her hand. Don't tell me it's another big dongle family idea. Well, then we can replace the fish with a dongle. Bear with <laughs> the bear will walk with a dongo in its mouth. Perfect, we can call it bear carving featuring dongo. It's not featuring, it's feeding on starfish. Not you two. Kazaki san, please listen. It's wrong, I thought it was obvious. That's not true, the idea I thought of was about a portrait of dongos. Please leave the dongos alone. Okay, fine. We can make a portrait sculpture of the person and give it to them. Think of the portrait painter. Uh, the portrait painters you sometimes see on the streets, something like that. But it takes some time to make one. We can pair the head sculpture beforehand. I think it, would, it wouldn't take too much time to carve just the face. Although I'm not sure if such a thing is even possible. Both look at Fugo waiting for a reply. Fugo will give it a try. Thank you very much. Why thank her? Didn't you think of that? Think that up to help her. Ah, you're right. <laughs> Uh, having finished many, making several types of hand and head sculptures, Fugo stands up and gives us gives us a sign. Okay, let's go. Wait, Nogazaki. Uh, I don't know why I'm having to bring these along. He's holding a broom and dustpan in his hand. We'll need to take care of the splinters, won't we? Got it, servant. God, demand a rematch. Wait till your hand is healed. I'll carve with my feet. See my heart, Santa. I'll have two, so please calm down. Damn, Nikita chan, you're the only one who's kind to me. That's not true. Furukawa doesn't don't go too easy on him. He met his pride as a man in that match. Damn it, you're a demon. As we reach the entrance of the classroom, a bulky male student passes by in front of us. That head don't we have the sculpture pretty close to that? Fugo takes out a square head sculpture. Furukawa, can you try talking to him? Okay. Excuse me. Hmm. Spoken to by a stranger, male student looks at Furukawa suspiciously. His turned face fits well with his build. <laughs> May I ask if we can make a portrait sculpture of you? What? That message isn't connecting to him at all. Right here, you see? Which hand over there, you see? We'll use a knife to... <laughs> She's already started carving. What do you want? Well, what I mean is, could you please wait for a moment? Why is that? I'm making a sculpture of your face. It'll be done nicely. I'm not asking you to. Please let us give the finished carving to you, please. For free? Yes, of course. Want to take some time? You only need to carve the face, so it won't take long. If you insist so much. Focus completely focused on carving. And... It's done. Her hand stopped. Well then, please show it to him. Please let it even be slightly, let it even just slightly resemble him. It'll take only that much to please him. I'm praying in my head. Okay. Wish. The instant I see it, I put out my hand to cover it. Huh? What's wrong? Isn't it finished? N no, not really. What? Really? I saw it only for a second. It seemed pretty good. I want to have a better look at it. Sorry, please leave that, with that after image imprinted in your heart. What's wrong with you people? I got hyped up for nothing. Male student squares his shoulders as he walks away. What happened, Okazaki-san? Look at this. Okay. 
hand being held in Fubo's hand. It's Moai. It's so lovely. That's right, there's another idiot right here. Just for a reason did I almost faint over this? Yes? Don't lose it to Moya. <laughs> Tell me, Fugo. Why didn't you make a Moe? I admit he did look like a Moe though. Fugo felt pretty good about the carving, was it no good? <laughs> you can tell, you can't tell a person that his head looks like a Moe. I wonder if this girl's a genius or just an idiot. Of course she's not an idiot. Yeah, if you use a chance says so, then she must be a genius. Don't you have the will of your own? Think about it, Fuko. If the person's not pleased with what you make, how are things gonna listen to your quest? Maybe the portrait sculpture was a bad idea after all. Yep, yep, that may be true. But if someone gave me a carving of my face, I'd be really happy. Yep, yep, totally. You're fine with whatever she says. No, I'm just deeply impressed by Nagi's chance opinion. She's not saying anything special, is she? You bastard, you saying that my angel isn't anything special? Please, you two, keep it at it. Keep it at that. Oh no, we're not fighting at all. We were best buddies, ain't we? Bastard. Hu Chen, let's try it just once more. This time, don't try to be too artistic. You just focus on making you resemble the person as much as possible. Okay. But gives us a big nod. This time, let's try it with that person. This time the target is the total opposite of the last guy, the new guy is thin and so weak that he, he may pass out with a push. Go for it, Furukawa. Okay. Furukawa walks up and speaks to him. Excuse me, do you have a moment? Huh? Well, we'd like to make a portrait sculpture of you. A me portrait? Where did you come from? <laughs> yes, we'll make it identical to you. Furukawa's over there, you see? We'll carve that wooden block. You see right here. Hmm. And run the male student for close start to carve with their knife. You'll be done soon, just a moment. Just for college, just trying to keep his interest with a smile. Mm. The sound comes to an end. It's done. Well then, please show it to him. Please let it not be deformed. Please let it be close to the real thing as much as possible. I'm praying in my head. Okay. Wish. Instant I see that, put on my hat and cover it. Huh? Haven't you finished with it? No, no, not really. But I saw it for a second. It seemed pretty good. Sorry, please leave it with that after image imprinted in your heart. Why? This isn't how she said it'd go. Sorry. Even though not exactly satisfied with my explanation, the male student decides to walk away. What happened, Ogazaki-san? Was it no good? You see... Ah. The carving I was holding behind my back. Falls down the floor and rolls away. The bypass who happened to glance to the thing all scream and jump back. Even though it's rolled quite a distance away, it's still easy for us to see. The carving looks exactly like a skull. <laughs> I think he had more skin on his face as well. It's so lovely. Yeah, if Nikita-chan says so, it's lovely. Oh my god. That's right. How is it possible that this world can be filled with so many idiots?